Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Grand Wagoneer Series 3. This is an absolutely beautiful looking SUV, very similar to the regular Wagoneer, however it is more luxurious. Starting off up front, we have the Grand Wagoneer style LED headlights as well as fog lights, chrome recovery hooks, parking sensors up front, Lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control as well. Front facing camera is gonna be right here. Wagoneer is spelled out on the top portion of the grill. I believe this comes with a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 standard and an eight speed automatic transmission. Cross path detection sensor right there. Color matched fender flares, 22 inch Wagoneer wheels. Sorry I'm going a little fast, there's a lot of people here and I've been trying to fight all day to get good shots, but I'm, it's just what it is. Drop down here. running boards, Grand Wagoneer in the two-tone, silver and bronze with the American flag. Color matched mirror caps with your 360 degree camera system. Beautiful gloss piano black on the A-pillar up. Gloss black uh, roof rack up top. This guy does have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors. Coming around to the back, we have your capless fuel fill port, 91 octane, so I'm pretty sure it is the 6.4 liter Hemi. Cross path detection sensor as well that transitions into your rear parking sensors. Your seven pin, four pin connector and your trailer hitch is gonna be, be behind this plastic piece right here. Right here we have your Quadra Drive Series 2 badge. And then over here we have your Series 3 badge. Beautiful LED taillights. Grand Wagoneer is spelled out right below the rear glass. We have your backup camera right here. Again, I love the silver and bronze brushed look on this. Rear view mirror camera is gonna be right there. This thing just looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, drop down running boards are a must. I believe this guy has air suspension as well. And the attention to detail too around the LED tail lamps is just absolutely amazing. Blind spot monitoring as well as blind spot mirror on both passenger and driver side. This thing is just so darn luxurious. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, we have a lot to get through, so I'm gonna try to go as, as fast as I can. We have this really nice brown leather in here with this real wood looking trim. All the windows are automatic up and down. We have your lock and unlock buttons as well as your power folding mirrors with your mirror controls. Right here, we actually have the adjustment for the seat itself with a two seat memory. Really nice blue LED accent lighting with this real wood trim looks absolutely amazing. We got the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the ambient lighting and instrument cluster. And then to the right of that, we have your power adjustable pedal button. Under that, we have an electronic parking brake. Coming up top to the dashboard, we have the premium Macintosh audio group. Sounds absolutely amazing. Speakers pretty much everywhere. Heads up display, 90, eh, maybe 85%, 80% of this dash is soft touch leather with that beautiful brown almost caramel stitching the instrument cluster is 100 percent digital which is definitely the way to go in my opinion i love it it's great for the end consumer they can monitor any parameter of their choosing coming back to the steering wheel very beautiful steering wheel this is probably my favorite steering wheel on the market mild bolsters at 10 and 2. it does have a nice flat bottom with no obstruction so you can overhand grip it like this or underhand grip it like that um, just extremely comfortable. All of your control pad for the center uh, LCD display is gonna be right here. And then to the right of that, you have your steering wheel mounted uh, phone call buttons. Over here, we have your adaptive cruise control buttons as well as your cruise control and lane keep assist button. Under that, we have your gear limiter buttons. And then we have again, real wood trim throughout. Beautiful, beautiful leather wrapped push button start. Again, the blue LEDs are pretty much everywhere. Integrated trailer brake controller down there. Heated ventilated seat and massaging seat uh, capacitive buttons right here as well as your heated steering wheel button. Over on the passenger side, they have the same thing with an addition of the power screen for this guy um, instead of the heated steering wheel button. 
Uconnect 5, extremely uh, responsive. You can control everything through here. Uh, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can control the heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. It's got a 4G LTE connection and I believe it's also hooked up to Amazon Alexa. Very responsive, like I said, beautiful high definition touchscreen. And I believe with the card system, you actually have up to three cards now instead of two. Nice. Under that, you have gloss black uh, dual zone climate control buttons. And then the massaging seats are all right here on this capacitive touchscreen. And you can pretty much select whatever one you'd like. Um, I don't know if it's going to work because the vehicle is in demo mode and it's plugged into an actual wall outlet right now. Um, but you can control the uh, air conditioning, the massaging, the uh, heated air, heated, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Heated seats, ventilated seats, you control the rear climate, turn the screen off. All of these buttons right here are capacitive. If the screen is off or it's on, you can push this button and it should push it back, giving us access to a 12 volt outlet, two USBs, two USB type C's, an auxiliary jack, an additional rear USB and USB type C, and then an HDMI plug for the passenger touchscreen display. When you want that to come back, you push this button. But before we do that, there is a wireless charging mat right here as well. Absolutely beautiful. Mute button for the radio, automatic start stop off, auto hold on. That's when you're in traffic and you don't want to keep your foot on the brake. You can put your foot on the brake while in drive, push auto hold on, remove your foot from the brake and the vehicle will not go anywhere. Lane keep assist off. Hazard light button is actually a physical button. It's not capacitive. Traction control off, parallel park button, parking sensors off, tow haul mode on, and then this screen will actually push that screen on. I can't really see it right now because it's set up like that to keep the driver from looking over there. Right here we have the different drive modes for the vehicle. It will change them up on the center LCD display when they change. Four wheel low is a capacitive button. Rotary dial selector for the gear shifter. Um, air suspension controller right here and then your trail control right there which is like cruise control but at very low speeds. Right here we have two cup holders, a little cutout for the key fob and then a chain storage compartment. Center armrest, slide this back giving us access to a felt lined storage compartment with a USB and USB type C outlet. Lift up on this giving us access to an actual cooler. Now it's off, now it's on. You can see there's ice crystals here and it's actually extremely cold to the touch. That's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Absolutely beautiful Series 3 leather seats. Pretty sure these guys got speakers in them. Massage the whole seat. Absolutely gorgeous. Grand Wagoneer badging. The screen looks like it is on, however, I can't see it. You can plug in a PlayStation or an Xbox over there and game out if you like. Beautiful, beautiful glove box. Up top, LED vanity for the passenger as well as your driver. Three door universal garage remote. LED dome map lighting master controls as well as the trunk release button. All of the buttons for the twin pane sunroof. Everything is electrical in that car. Right here we have the uh, glasses storage as well as the uh, kid monitor mirror, I call it. As well, manual. And then right here yeah. we have the um, rear view mirror, uh, video mirror. So you can control how bright the mirror is, and then you can also control how high or how low the video camera actually shows. Um, overall, Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with this vehicle. I think this has got Escalade beat. I think this has got Lincoln or Cadillac beat. I think this has um, Lincoln beat. This thing is absolutely amazing. With that being said, let's take a very quick look at the back seats if we can. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have easily six to eight inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Um, it's just absolutely crazy back here. Storage in the form of pouches right here touch screen for the rear climate under that you have a power plug two usbs two usb type c's as well as another 12 volt outlet right there uh, the rear captain's chairs have uh, their own touch screen displays with hdmi charger plug and headphone jack twin pane sunroof right here so your all of your grab handles and hanger hooks and map lights are going to be pushed to the outside of the suede line headliner air conditioning vent right here as well as right here 
close this door a little bit. You can see the Macintosh Premium Audio Group, real wood trim again, privacy sunshade for the rear passengers, which is awesome. This thing is just so absolutely beautiful. And then right here we have the speaker system and the camera system so you can actually keep an eye on what's going on in the back seats. Um, this isn't the L version of this vehicle. I think actually it is. It may be the L version. But getting in the back is actually real easy. Uh, the seats do fold forward and then fold up, giving you access to get in and out real easy. If you are sitting back here on either side, you can actually push these buttons right here and they will um, fold the seats down for you. Rear air conditioning vents on both sides, as well as your reclining seats and your USB and USB type C, as well as your cup holder. And this is all very nice soft touch leather. This is an eight seater car. And um, I have my own sunroof back here, which is sweet. Really nice uh, suede lined headliner. Again, um, you have your LED dome map lights and your hanger hooks up top. Beautiful color combo back here. And there is just so much room back here. I don't think this is the L, but I even have a bunch of room um, without it being the longer version. So very, very happy. I'm gonna get out. We're gonna go to the back real quick and we're gonna see how much cargo space we have. There's a couple ways to open the trunk of this vehicle. First way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button or the third way is the traditional way. You're gonna come up to it, push the button and it should automatically open for you. Tons and tons of space in this vehicle. You should have some underfloor storage as well. Grocery bag hooks, 12 volt outlet. The second row folds down only. The third row folds down. And then you can actually fold it back up as well with the push of a button. So tons and tons of space. All of these seats do fold flat. You can put easily a standard sheet of drywall or plywood in here and not have any worries about it not fitting. Push these two buttons. Hopefully that seat uh, that seat's reclined back a little too far. These ones will come back up and you're good to go, which is absolutely awesome. Once you're done doing your business back here, push this button, it'll beep at you, the lights will flash, and then it will automatically close. Let's take a quick look at that window sticker. So here's a window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 Grand Wagoneer Series 3. It is not the L. All the stuff right here is uh, standard. I'm pretty sure this has the uh, 6.4, but it may have the Hurricane Twin Turbo 510 horsepower. I'm not 100% sure. Best in class, uh, max towing capacity of almost 10,000 pounds. Um, I don't think this one's gonna have a towing or payload sticker only because it's not going to be for sale. I believe this is a pre-production run. Premium American design, most available technology features. Um, that I believe, hands down. And then over 120 standard and available safety and security features. This thing is absolutely amazing. All for the low, low price of $107,995. And your firstborn child. I'm just kidding. So there you have it, the 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer Series 3. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful SUV. Um, the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer are probably my favorites. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date on more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.